Thanks for checking out 3D Products. I'm Donald Williams. I'm joined here with Francisco Mendoza, the 3D trainer and academy instructor. He's going to be showing us how to restore the door here using only detail products. We're going to be using LVP, which is a leather, vinyl, and plastic degreaser. It also has a little bit of a sheen to clean it up, and then a, a horsehair brush. Now we like to take and make sure we spray all of our cleaners and degreasers when we're dealing with the interior directly onto our, our utensil, whether it be a brush or a rag. That way you avoid overspray, which could cause some staining or some uh, runs. Geez, not a whole lot of elbow grease. And that's a really soft brush, too. Wow, that thing hasn't looked like that for years and years, I'm sure of it. All right, so this does the same thing for the rest of the interior. We're gonna go ahead and uh, clean up the door here. We'll show you how to use the brush. Now, when we're doing this, it's just, again, it's very light elbow grease. You don't wanna oversaturate your interior because then you have to worry about it drying. Obviously, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is vacuum it out, get, remove all the, the loose dust and dirt so that when you're going here, you're not uh, battling extra dirt and, and extra grime. When you're scrubbing, you don't wanna to scrub too hard either, so you wanna do a whole lot, have the work be done by using the chemical and the material or the utensil that you've chosen to use. And the LVP actually has a really pleasant scent. It's a uh, got a leather scent to it. So or new car or between the leather scent, new car scent. So it's not going to ruin any additional scent you would like to apply to the interior of the car. Give it kind of that new car smell. And as Francisco just said, it's not going to turn all white. You have to spray sometimes down inside there. That's understandable because there's a lot of nasty material that's inside of the door panel. All right, using a long horsehair brush here and that benefit of the horsehair brush is to be able to get into some of these deeper areas and then just take and wipe it down. And we went from absolute nastiness to pretty darn good shine and cleanliness in just a short amount of time. Likes to wet down the horsehairs to give it a little bit more abrasive plus it's also a lot better than spraying it directly onto the surface. Ah, oh, comes off pretty easy, huh? And this is, uh, this is years of nasty on this takes it right off. It even works around these door jams here where we got all this black uh, soot that's been kicked up from the, the outside or brought in from the, the weather and the elements. It's pretty easy to clean all this up here as well. We're gonna, now why do we choose LVP? LVP mostly is because it's perfect for your interior cleaning of your leather, plastic, and vinyl. It also has a light degreaser in it so that you can really get some of that grime off. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, after we've cleaned out the LVP, we're going to use orange degreaser to use with a stiffer bristled brush to clean off the fabric here on the side of the door panel. And that'll get uh, a lot of that loose dirt and a lot of the stains out of there. Orange degreaser is really a all-purpose cleaner. You could even use it if you chose, if you liked, you can uh, use it on, on the plastics and the vinyls as well. LVP just leaves a little bit better sheen for it and it's a little bit more directed towards that where orange or greaser is really your go-to all-around cleaner. Cuts the grease and is uh, very, very strong with its delimitin that in it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put on 3D's liquid leather. Liquid leather implies that it's great for leather, vinyl, plastics, and it has a really nice leather scent to it. So it's good for protecting your door panels, your plastics, the vinyls, the plastics inside the, the vehicle. And it'll give you a nice, clean, crisp look without being greasy, slippery, or shiny. It's got a matte finish to it, and a, again, a really, really pleasant leather scent to it. Which leather and new car scent are very close to one another, so I can't imagine it's gonna be too distasteful for anybody who gets inside the car. I think pretty much everyone will like the way it smells. So you'll go ahead and dress it up really nice. It's going to condition your leather, vinyls, and plastics and kind of revitalize them. And then if you have any excess, just go ahead and wipe it down. And there you go. You got a big difference in just a short amount of time. So I take up some LVP. We have, it looks like we have some soda stains on here. I'm going to lightly massage it in here, clean it up real nice like. Get the bristles in there, scrub it down nice. Now again, since it's a soft horsehair brush, it's not overwhelmingly strong. We want to make sure we don't scrub too hard. Get into the vent dashes here. Use this to get into these nooks. We're going to get into the vent. We're going to do some, uh, we're doing some nice deep cleaning here. Now there's these felt in here, so we don't want to go too crazy and get that saturated. Now Francisco's doing the same thing, just on the other side here. We're making sure we get all these crannies all taken care of. And we're going to wipe it down. Oh, Frank has pulled out his blaster. Helps get all of the excess out of the jam. 
Also to dry out the LVP here. Got to get over in here, bud. Oh, look at that. Look at the way that works out. That nice, handy little machine we got going on here. That makes short work of all that, doesn't it? So the soda stains, gone. Now the nastiness. If we want to get a shot on here is the uh, is the steering wheel. Now we're now we're cleaning the center console here. This one was loaded with sunflower sunflower seeds. All right. So we're cleaning up the center console here. Just taking this nice soft horsehair brush, being able to get down into some of these uh, crevices, be able to get rid of this dirt that's settled down in there. Now you want to often make sure when you're doing this that you clean out the brush a little bit because. You don't want to put uh, dirt right back in to where you were just cleaning. The chemical, it's mostly collecting the loose material and the debris. Just clean the dirt off the layers of dirt out of dirt out of dirt. Get that nice, shiny, clean finish back. Now we got to remember too, if you're detailing someone else's car, that before you go on delivery, because you're messing with all these knobs, I think it's rather annoying for some of these guys when they hop back in their car and the first thing they do is turn their car on, the radio's blaring because we messed with the dials. Francisco's also cleaning the headliner with orange degreaser. The orange degreaser, again, is that great all-purpose cleaner. When diluted right, you can have it as a heavy degreaser at four to one to really, really get some heavy grease off. Or this, in this case, we have a diluted 10 to 1, which still has great cutting power, but the delimitin is gentle enough that you can use it to clean the headliner. And headliners are really fussy because they're only held up by glue. So if you put too much material on it, definitely avoid using hot steam or a carpet extractor, because all you'll do is remove the glue and then you'll start getting, I don't know if anybody's familiar with it, you'll get some sag and this fabric will just hang. So if you start doing that, it's not easy to, to take care of at that point. Let's get a new headliner. So now let's get the keys. You got the keys there, bud? So I can put this shifter on and get it back and make sure we pull it back and clean up the parts. Hold that brake in. Now turn it off. Clean it out again. All right, now what we have down here, cup holders always get extra gross. You know, you hit a bump and your soda spills or whatnot. But look how easy that comes up, though. soda. Uh, wipe all that excess stuff off. Maybe we'll come back with then we'll come back with the brush after that. Oy. Clean off these the texture here. This texture is making it a little bit harder to get to. Microfiber's not just gonna clean that up. Gotta loosen that up with the get the brush down in there. Be able to wipe it up. Don't want to just smush it back in there. Now Francisco is taking liquid leather. If you're noticing, it's not just for leather. It's made to be able to be put all over the vehicle to protect and condition all vinyls, plastics, and especially leather. It has a non-slippery feel. It's nice and clean. Got a great fresh, or got a nice clean matte look to it. If you want something shiny, you can look into something like universal dressing. Shiny's kind of a thing of the past now. It is personal preference on what they have. There's just a couple things with shiny, like if you have too shiny of a dash and it's sunny outside, you could get that extra reflection into your eyeballs that you might not want. Now these door jams get a lot of footwork, a lot of foot traffic in them. One of the things we always, or it seems that most of the detailers, when I would ever take my car to a car wash or something, they seem to miss the paint for the inside of the door and don't get a really clean door jam for me. More of an annoying thing than it is anything else. Liquid leather is also a mild cleaner, so if you just have some light dust or some light fingerprints, it will also clean the doors, leathers, vinyls, and plastics. Just light cleaner, though. We appreciate you taking the time checking us out, checking out our website, checking us out on 3D products. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and follow uh, and find out a little bit more about 3D's new latest and greatest innovative car care products. And we really appreciate Francisco Mendoza coming along and showing us on uh, how to properly do a lot of these really heavy duty work. Until next time, I'm Donald Williams with 3D International. We'll see you then.